On Japan's northwestern coast, winter is harsh and the sea unforgiving. This wild shoreline is also the scene of a disturbing mystery. North Korean boats, sometimes called ghost ships, keep washing up on these beaches. Look at this, a little fishing boat like this has no business being out in these stormy seas. And the men on board, they paid the ultimate price. The authorities say they found the bodies of four men on this wreck and on a similar fishing boat, which both washed up here on the same day. Hours after we filmed here, Japanese authorities found two more bodies buried under this second wooden boat when they tried to drag it off the beach. The Japanese Coast Guard detected a record number of close to 100 North Korean ghost ships in 2017. They've also found dozens of bodies aboard these drifting vessels. Their appearance all the more striking when you consider Japan is around 1,000 kilometers, more than 600 miles from North Korea. Japan's Coast Guard accuses North Korean fishermen of poaching in Japanese waters, sparking hundreds of confrontations like this this year alone. Sometimes Japanese authorities find surviving North Korean fishermen on the drifting boats. But in November, police accused 10 men on this boat of looting a fishing station on a Japanese island. They arrested three North Koreans. In a small fishing port along the Oga Peninsula, veteran fishermen say it's madness to take such small vessels so far out to sea. <laughs> Only an idiot would fish like this, says Akira Funatsu. The North Korean government must be forcing them. Aboard this ghost ship, we find fishing nets, a radio, a flashlight in a cupboard. On the day this boat washed up, police also found two bodies nearby. <laughs> Locals deal with the dead as best they can. The head priest at this Zen Buddhist temple prays before the cremated ashes of 15 unidentified North Koreans brought here by the municipality. They'll be buried without a funeral and not according to their religion, he says. I feel so sorry for them. The sad fact is that for every dead North Korean who washes up here, there are probably many more sailors who never make it to dry land. Something must be terribly wrong in North Korea to make a fisherman's catch one worth dying for. Ivan Watson, CNN, Akita, Japan.